Hello everybody, I'm doing uh, techniques here to explain some embossing. Um, so I'm going to try to make this quick, but embossing, um, embossing inks come in pads, pens, mini cubes, um, this which is um, a dauber, and um, you can basically use any ink that will stay wet long enough for you to place the powder on. Um, so what I was going to show you is a few different ones. And I think the way I have this, I think Tatter Brews is first. Yeah, so I got these little distress because I'll make a quick little, which one is this, Tatter Brews? I'm going to make a quick little kind of tag. So basically I'm going to do the bottom here. Here, and the first thing I'm going to show you is clear embossing powder. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just giving this piece of paper color. So cover that up. So this is really dry real quick. So, okay, next what I'm going to show you is that they have, um, where did my clear? They have clear embossing powder, uh, embossing powder. And what I'm going to show you is the difference if you did it on color background and a white background. So I have a stamp here, and this is just like a pattern. This is Inka Dinka Clings. This is like a background page um, stamp. So what I'm going to do is, uh, one thing that I always get is two coffee filters. For this one, I'm just going to stamp it. And just doing this. This is a technique. This isn't anything. And yeah, it's probably going to overlap, but that's okay. And then we got it on there. I always take a, a baby wipe and kind of sit it on there, especially if I'm not going to get to it right away, just to keep it wet. Okay, so then I lay whatever it is down, and this is clear, so then I'm going to pour it on here. And you can see the powder, hopefully you can see the powder on there. And I shake it off. And I'm just going to put this back over here. Close my lid. And this may get noisy. Okay. Brush. That's pretty hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and melt it up. You can tell when it's done when you start seeing it being a little glossy. Oh well. Okay, so there we go. We got the white, so it kind of gives a gleam, and we got with color. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take another color. I'm going to take this worn lipstick and I'm going to go over it. So the difference is, maybe I should have done a different color, but the, the tattered rose still stays there where the white, where, well it would be white, and there's the paper underneath. That season. So that's that's clear embossing. Okay. Let me show you. So I have this little tag here and it says you're late, you're late. It's appropriate for me. So I'm gonna use a Rolodex card. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna show you clear embossing. Um I get, I got this, um, it is a dauber, but I took the dauber out, and I actually paint on it. So I dip my brush, or I put a little cup, instead of daubing it, I don't even know. So here I'm just painting the whole thing. I do this with a lot of projects, it gives it that little bit of, um, 
slimyness. So, I got it covered. I'm going to stick this in the water for right now. And since this is a little tag, hmm. Cover it. Why I didn't dip it in there, it's okay, I don't know. Now I'm going to get my gun again. Now I turn on my gun and then hold it down. The reason I did that is because it will blow away. And that's why a lot of people start it on there to keep the screen flow. But I turn it off right when it gets hot and then turn it right back on. It was probably a little too long because it's bubbling. That's it. Let that dry. So, there we have it. Instead of glossy accents, I put this on here. And, yeah, it should be dry in a few minutes. It's, I put a lot of ink on there, so it's going to take a few minutes to dry. So, probably by the time we're done. Hopefully. <laughs> so, I'll show that later. Okay. Uh, now, that's what I do when I get my powders. I make little cards. So I can see the color, see what kind of tech, what kind of texture it has, because every embossing powder is different depending what the materials are. I didn't do my new colors yet. So here, which is really cool, I'm going to show you. This one is the puff one by Wow, and it almost looks like you can have a road or a texture or something. And then here's the thick embossing compared to the thin. So. Here we have the, it's kind of got a texture, like a road, I don't know if you can tell. Then these are really thick, and then these are the thin ones. Now the real fine ones you can use in print and stuff, which is cool. Okay, so I don't know if that helped or if that did anything for you, but this is something else I did. And this was gold, like this. It's a, uh, um... That's some black embossing powder. It's an earring holder. And what I did was I used my wow colors, my wow powers. <laughs> I used bubble gum and regular um pastel pink. Now I was really upset because um the the scrapbook store up the street. I don't have the thick ones, but these are just the regulars and what I did was I embossed this on here. Now I, I, I'm going to put, I was thinking about two little black eyes and I was thinking about maybe doing the nose. But there she is. I think she's so cute. I was going to put little um, diamonds around the neck. So I wanted to do this video because it's storming outside and I wanted to make sure that I got this finished today. So one more thing.